So I have some bad news. Uh, remember that uh, cannon that we got, TK? He thought it was a toilet plunger. Put in the toilet and blew his ass to hell. Just got off the phone with Dr. Ned. He wants me to take a look. It's like he's still with us right now, ain't it? <laughs> I miss him. I miss his money. Oh, hey. Money. I'll steal that from TK. Alright, so, yeah. I, oh, wait. Wait a second. TK? <gasps> You're looking better than ever. Looks like he wants us to get some more brains for bosses. So we're going to be headhunting some more bosses, so... Uh, let's go. So, the first boss actually is a pretty tough one. Um, his name's Pumpkinhead. He's actually right over here. So, we're going to head over there. I thought it was fitting to have uh, TK as the... Uh, T Zombie TK as, like, the headhunter for the uh, the boss. The bosses for the DLC. So, we'll be coming... I guess we'll be coming back... No, we won't. We won't. Alright, we'll get we'll get a radio message via TK. This is the last time we're seeing TK. See ya, buddy. This guy is a pain in the butt. So, uh, yeah, the pumpkin head has a lot of health. As you can see, he's coming fast, and he can one-shot you. Alright, so you just hit him in the head. Uh, good thing you can stun him. But, yeah, um, this is Mordecai, by the way. You know, the guy with the burst damage. Other characters have a hell of a time with him. Uh, especially Brick. Brick needs a kill skill in order to kill him, so you need to save a zombie to run into the thing. Have him run out here. As you can see, oh, that was a tough boss fight. Yes, it is, because he kills you in one hit. So, just be aware of that. If you come in here, and you be like, hey, I'm going to fight you, and you go, blah, 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 he could fire breath you and kill you in one hit, and you'll be in fight for your life. So, yeah, it's a fight for your life, boss, if you if you don't camp him. Yeah, eek! Alright, so the first one's done. So I guess, I don't know, should we collect a brain for TK? I don't know. There, one brain. Hello, I'm back. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're going to be taking out more bosses in Jacob's Cove. We're going to the map, Generally Hospital, and there's about four or five bosses here. Uh, they're all were skags, and you're going to see, uh, the weaknesses of Jacob's in this, uh, game. If you're noticing, um, it's a bit different, because I recorded this part earlier, and then, uh, the resolution was, like, 7, uh, was at 7.30 instead of 7.20. Which, I don't know why. You know, it was uh, 1280 by 730. I don't know how that happened. My guess is maybe Borderlands messed up. I don't think it was my recorder because it was recorded, right? I think it was Borderlands went to the wrong resolution, which I very odd. I don't even know how to do it. Uh, right now I'm running the, uh, the, um, the elephant gun. The winning's elephant gun. Uh, try to jump out of the way. Can't. There we go. Well, he's still got a barf on me. Uh, you gotta worry about those guys. Those guys can really damage you. That zombie's not dead, so you shoot him twice on the ground. Yeah, those psycho zombies. Uh, really interesting. I love them. I think they're my favorite type of zombie. One, because they, they have a unique mechanic that's not terrible, you know? A lot of the zombies, they barf on you, they slow you down, which the... They do that too. Like, all the zombies in this, when they hit you, they slow you down. But they're not as annoying as the defilers that take away your vision. They're not as annoying as the zombies that just blow themselves up on you. Uh, they're probably my favorite. Oops. Well, there we go. We got Tiki Baja's thing. Yeah. Yeah, you... Yeah. I, I might actually have to do all the bosses all again, which I think I will do. It's unfortunate because there was some funny parts, but... Yeah, bad resolution, you know? Don't know how that happened. And we're we'll continuing on. Uh, this map's really fun, to be honest. Like, uh, I'm using the elephant gun right now, and as you can see, you don't hit your shots, because, you know, I can't aim worth shit. Well, he, at least he blew up. Get down on the ground. Get down on the ground! Now! Shoot the guy in the back. I think there's one more guy coming. Yeah, he is. It's really yellow. At least it's very yellow, the explosive. Hey, we got brain ventilator. That's uh, that's using sniper to kill with critical hits, or not just using sniper to kill. I think. I don't think it's actually uh, based on critical hits. 
Yeah, I like Jacobs a lot, but they have the weakness of, like, uh, if you don't hit your critical hits, you don't do as much damage as other weapons. Of course, all weapons do more damage with critical hits, but Jacobs seem to really take a hit if you don't. And it's fine, usually. You know, it's like, oh, you messed up aiming. That's your fault. Enemies in this game sometimes don't have critical hits. Um, or they have very hard ones to hit that, that can get hit with faster fire weapons. For instance, if I used a SMG, it would be much easier to hit these skags that are coming. I shoot that before. Alright, so he's going to come running at me. These guys, if you don't uh, notice, they can actually fly at you very fast. Um, uh, I'll show you part of the old video that I recorded that, uh, that had that. Uh, if you throw at the bird... Oh, wait, that didn't go. The bird's supposed to be... Uh, well, I figured I was going to go down. Yeah, so the bird has... Uh, is you don't want to use corrosive, you want to use either explosive or fire. I think I'll use fire for the... And it's this little guy that's stopping me. Alright, he's gonna run down, that's fine with me. Other than there's a second one anyway. Um, generally explosive is more damaging, I would say, in this game. On the zombies than fire. Alright, so he's still down there. Yeah, um... Yeah, max level of using a slow weapon, uh, the game can get kind of tense in terms of uh, them coming at you. Like, see, he's running at me right now super fast. See? Uh, if I see another psycho zombie, I'll shoot him and not kill him. Um, no, that can't. No, put that down. Wow. Alright, so there he is. I'm going to shoot him in the leg. Piss him off, I think. No. Okay, never mind. He didn't. Normally they uh, fall down. So the Psycho Zombies, uh, I've said this before in the part in case you're new, uh, this is, if you're watching this, this is your first part. Psycho Zombies, um, if you shoot them and they fall down, uh, they become a quote-unquote crimson head. Alright, so there we go. Shot him. He should be getting up now. He's going to be super fast compared to the other guys. See? Uh, much faster. He's already on my ass. And he has yeah, gigantic range. Oh, a lot of damage. Luckily, though, Psycho Zombies, you know, they don't have a lot of HP. Um, yeah, headshots are the best. You know, here's a striker. Here's a striker shotgun, right? Not bad. Not bad. One hit will kill with the striker in this mode. But, you know, the striker is not the best shotgun anyway. In fact, um, a lot of Jacob shotguns are like, eh, eh, you know? Uh, you'll get a few good ones that are really amazing. Um, in fact, I have a few of them right now that are, uh, uh, that one's very good, that one's very good, this one's always going to be very good. But compared to, like, I don't know, all of these, like, even that, even that Matador. The Jacobs does more damage, right? But the accuracy's, uh, less and the fire rate's less. You know? So it's like, oh, you, you do, like, ten extra damage per pellet. Alright, so here he is, here's Hank Reese. He came on my ass so hard, I didn't, intro, please, thank you. And now he's stuck. Now he's stuck. Mm. But as you can see, um, he can't really hit his uh, critical hit spot that well. You know, his critical hit spot's his mouth. Now, if he doesn't, uh, he opened it there. But if he doesn't open it, like, all the time. You know. See, I'm trying to hit him in his mouth. You can't do it. You have to wait for him to do his move. And, you know, because it's a... Uh, there we go. Hit him once. So that's what happens. If you don't kill them quickly, they get their HP back and they're in their enraged mode. But yeah, uh, waiting for them to open their mouth, not fun. Let me show you how you actually kill him, alright? Alright, he's probably dead by now. I bet you he's dead. Yeah. Yep. Dead. Yeah, this, 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 it's insane. It's insane just how, you know... Jacobs is supposed to be, hey, if it took more than one shot, you weren't using the Jacobs. You plug more bullets in with Jacobs than any other gun, and you do it slower sometimes, unless the enemy has an easy critical hit. You know? But if they're skags or something, they're always running at you, and they never open their mouth, it can be kind of hard. Unless you use, like, a projectile that has, uh, mul unless you use, uh, either a shotgun, or one of the Jacobs has multiple projectiles, like, a uh, masher, or, um, the skull smasher. But yeah, he's pretty easy. Just goes to show you, use Jacobs. You know, Jacobs and Jacobs Cove is only good on zombies, really. It's unfortunate. 
it's unfortunate. And the reason why I don't think I'm going to make a cut here is because we're already at the next boss. Uh, he should be right past this gate. Making sure there's not a Lukun that spawns in. He sometimes does that. Okay, so next boss. Um, also, what's even more impressive is... Uh, yeah, I was, I'm using the Gunfighter, which specifically makes Jacobs even more powerful. In fact, 50% weapon damage only on Jacobs. That doesn't apply to other weapons. Yeah, and it still is pretty lackluster compared to. And the thing is, I really love Jacobs, but um, certain enemies are just a hard counter, a hard sell on using him. You know? If you shoot... Okay, there we go. But even then, that didn't do as much damage. So I hit him, like, once in the face, right? With the projectile once. All right, let's let's slide him on fire. Once, twice. Look at his health. Look at his health. Look at that. Uh, that was like four shots compared to like the, you know, what you plug into normally. On like, like, this, and I'm buffing Jacob's damage too, so it's like, you really feel like you lose out on certain enemies. Uh, Jacob's are very good on Chromerics though. It's the increased critical hit damage usually that they have on their weapon card. Um, in fact, the Jacob's Masher, or even, a what's it called, a Non-Forgiven on Chromerics is usually a one shot on each critical hit mark, critical hit marker. Which I assume you just call them the joints. But hey, at least Jacob's can take out these guys. There's someone up there. Alright, let's open up this. Make sure uh, we don't get any more enemies falling on us. Okay, good. And nothing. Yeah, it's, um, e. Jacobs are good, though. Uh, against uh, bandits that have critical hit spots that you can hit. Wow, he jumped super high. I don't know if you saw that. Like, fucking, that could have been Batman. Alright, so I'm going to shoot him, like, three times. As you can see. Eh, four, five, six, seven. Oh, well, well. That was my fault. I was thinking he was going to come back down. We'll shoot him a few times. One, two, alright. And see, not really doing the damage. I'll throw on this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright, seven. He's dead. It's it's insane just how strong, you know. You know, you have to hit your critical hit shots from Jacobs, otherwise you're not doing the same amount of damage as any other gun. Um and if you're wondering, yeah, um, I I believe uh, I believe other guns that are similar uh, can actually kill these guys quicker too. Because of the, um, not because of the elemental, but because of the faster fire rate they have. You end up doing more DPS on the body. I don't know if I have any faster fire guns, though. Uh, sure, we'll try this. We'll try this out, just in case. Let's see. Uh, it might just be that these guys hard counter revolvers anyway, but as you can see, uh, you know, the more shots you have, the more chances you have to make critical hit shots, the more damage you do over time anyway. See what I mean? Like, <laughs> it, it seems like Jacobs are uniquely bad now. With that being said, he almost got his buff. You know what I mean? He almost got his buff. But if he, if I was using Jacobs, he probably would have gotten his buff on me. You know, it just shows you uh, just how crazy Jacobs are in terms of, uh, like, if you don't get your critical hits, you don't get the damage. Also, um, let's see if I can test this out. These, your critical hit actually... Uh, you're, um... Okay, well, I can't show it now. Because they're on top of me. But I believe your melee goes all the way to the skybox. Um, in this game and in Borderlands 2. They pif they fix it in the pre-sequel. But, um... Right, you know, l we'll see. He should fly away, actually, after a while. I think they attack, like, four or five times, and then they reset. Or maybe, maybe he's not. Give him a second. Ow. So, yeah, he resets. So they do reset, so I'm not a liar. But then he's going to come back angrier than ever. Uh, I'm going to try and get underneath him. But yeah, all these guys, they're not very strong, you know? Are right, underneath him. All right, let's see if we can hit him. Yeah, see? It goes all the way to the skybox. There's not more... that. There's no way in hell that sword reached that far. Just letting you know, though. Cool, right? So this guy, should I fight him? No, man, I'll just kill him in one hit. One, two, three, four. I'll just, I'll just dump a magazine in him. Yeah, it's it's barely even a fight when you actually fight him, you know. Uh, it's unfortunate, you know. I love Jacobs too. It's unfortunate that they're not really shining on uh, 
the Jacobs uh, DLC. And I believe that's it. So we'll get the chest, and oh, I'll get the chest. And uh, next boss. Oh, never mind. Um, we're back. I didn't even bother shooting the birds. These guys are cool. So these are the first time loot guns are actually in uh, Borderlands. Uh, and they're also very weak to fire. Like 9th and 10, it's like Molly 1 are the best, right? No, I jump away from him. This thing. <laughs> Alright, well that's fun. Alright, using the elephant gun and blowing someone's head off is... Uh, in game is very funny. But yeah, if, if you can hit their critical hits, Jacobs is pretty good. Okay, guys, we're in the map Deadhaven, and uh, today we're going to be taking on Frank and Bill, or I guess it's the same day, to be honest. Uh, we'll check the. Uh... Well, yeah, you're right. When you're right, you're right. Who needs Doctor Zed? Hell, I hear he isn't even in Borderlands Three. Spoilers. Yeah, so we're going to be taking on Frank and Bill. And uh, from the start of the map, you know, I think he's somewhere. Uh, I think he's actually right here. And I believe if you have this, I might be able to make a... Uh, let me try one more time. I might be able to make a... One more time. No, it looks like there's an invisible wall there to stop me. Third time. But, you know... Could have been my messing up. So yeah, just shoot these guys in the head. I might want to actually use the mad jack to be honest, because uh, there is going to be a lot of zombies to clear out. So let's throw on a gunslinger com with the uh, pistol regen and throw on the mad jack. Mad jack's very fun on this on, the, on Jacob's DLC. It's stuff like that. You just go like this. You don't care. I'm telling you, man, mad jack. You know, it's good. I might be able to get over it right here, actually. Let's try it out. Okay, there. There's the shortcut I wanted to do. Yeah, um... This is what happens. Like, if you don't want to fight through the map, you just, you know, grenade jump over. I think there was an invisible wall stop. I mean, that's why I couldn't get over. But then again, it could have been just a bad jump or I'm too weak. So, Frank and Bill should be over here. There he is. Hey, buddy. You like you like Molly One? Who am I stuck on? Oh, okay. Oh, no, now I can't move. Silly Frank and Bill. Oh uh, yeah, this guy's actually kind of dangerous. Mainly because of that. You can't stop that. Well, maybe you can. on that same thing. Of course it slows you down too. Yeah, every every enemy attack in this uh, DLC tends to slow you down. That's not strictly a boss. Um, I think the only one that does it is Dr. Uh, the, the final boss, believe it or not. Alright, there. Right, now that we got our, our shot. Okay. Oh, he got stunned and he still got me. <laughs> Alright, that was easy. Ish. Yeah, he has a lot of health. Um, fire is definitely the best way to kill him. Uh, also, with all with all the bosses in Dr. Ned, no unique drops. Hey, Dr. Zed. Zed, did, uh, Zed are you sick? You okay, my dude? When you're right, you're right. So, uh, turns out, uh, Dr. Ned was the one that caused TK Baja to become a zombie and not just dead. TK Baja wants me to take this man out, so I guess we'll have to. Uh, let's switch to a skull smasher. Let's smash this guy's skull in. I think that'd be fun. Well, you 
got me out of bed. Now I'm just pissed off. I love slippers. I love to wear them. Now I'm just gonna have to kill you. Okay, come on, use. Slash! Wow, these guys are stuck. Really? That's making them stuck? Odd, right? Okay, so, yeah. We'll kill these guys. And collect your brain. We're gonna kill, we're gonna collect Dr. Ned's brain for TK. I think that's the best part. I love running slow. It's what did the filers do? You run in circles. You smell like popcorn. Now I'm pissed. Man. What are you so mad? This is for TK. Wherever you are. Wait, did I miss him or is he dead? Is he? There he is. This is for TK. Okay, wow, he's, uh, apparently he's not dying. For TK. Dead. Not. Or not. Uh, yeah, TK can have this one. I don't want this one. I don't want this one. Hmm. Get out of here! Go! Thanks for your bruiser. Yep, this gun's a spinny gun, usually. And it's the spy. Yeah. So we're gonna finish up killing Dr. Undead Ned, I guess that's his name. But yeah, I'm not a... <laughs> so the Bruiser has a glitch to it where it's a, um, it's the spy um, SMG, but they gave it a spinny barrel and it's not labeled properly, so the game thinks it's a glitch and uh, tries to get rid of it by putting it to level zero. So yeah. You can have a level zero gun okay, if you want. If you just have to save, quit out. All right, time to finish Doctor Dead. You you made TK into a zombie, but you didn't make me into a zombie. This guy can be tough. He can do a spin move that will kill you. That and he has that glitch move where he. Uh, I'm gonna get out of here before he does that spin move. Sounds like he's doing it right now. Yep, there he goes. I knew he was gonna do it. Uh, he might not be able to move. Okay, he can. Throw the bird out. As you can see, he has a lot of health, but if you hit him consistently, which is my biggest problem. Oh, he's dead. The bird's gonna kill him. Or am I? Yeah, so we'll collect Dr. Ned's brains and, uh, yeah. We'll go say hi to TK Baja. Hello, Mr. Baja. I killed all the bosses you want. Here are their brains. You know, there's only nine. Donuts. No, Mr. TK. Over easy. I'm not the 10th one. Brain. You can't have me! 